This question deals with examination of a karyotype taken from a metaphase preparation shows the presence of an extra chromosome. Which of the following is the most common mechanism causing this phenomena? Whenever you see an extra chromosome, it means that there is a failure of paired chromosomes to separate and to go to different daughter cells. This can happen both in meiosis and mitosis. When this happens, one daughter cell gets an extra chromosome and the other daughter cell is short of one chromosome. This kind of um, joining together of an extra chromosome is called non-disjunction. What is balanced translocation then? Balanced translocation when there is exchange of genetic material between non-homologous chromosomes, but none of the genetic material is lost. Let's see what it means. Imagine that these are two chromosomes, but they are not, they are non-homologous. And if the exchange happens like so, that one chromosome breaks here, so the break is going to be here, and this section from the other chromosome is going to come and join here. Okay? And for this one, this part is going to be here, followed by the rest of the section from this chromosome. See, these are non-homologous chromosomes, but they're still retaining all the genetic material. This kind of non-homologous exchange of genetic material is called chromosomal balance, sorry, balanced translocation. Chromosomal breakage deals with chromosomes where there is a break which can lead to tumor, uh, tumor synthesis or tumorogenesis. An unbalanced translocation, this is when there is an exchange of chromosome between, between um, non-homologous chromosomes, but there is a net gain or net loss of chromosome. That is unbalanced translocation. 